The lunatic is on the grass. The Hi, this is Linda, and um, 4409 put up a video about Senator Menendez of New Jersey. He's a Democrat. Um, and he wants to do, um, let me call, what, let me see if I can find the name of this because I'm going to show it to you. It is, he wants to introduce the Syria Stabilization Act of 2013 where we essentially arm the rebels with our taxpayer dollars. The rebels, meaning al Qaeda. Now we need to call and tell them we know what this is about. I've already did my phone call, which I know other people have. I even called my own senator also, but they, some of them hang up on me. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you this guy, Robert Menendez, or Bob, as he likes to be called. And then I'm going to show you how crooked he is. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's look at that face there. That's Robert Menendez of New Jersey, a Democrat. Oh, and look at here. He likes to be called Bob. So let's talk about Bob here. And it says, Senator Menendez introduced a Syria Stabilization Act of 2013. Menendez legislation provides for lethal weapons to be vetted Syrian opposition, sanctioned weapon sales, and petroleum to the Assad regime while delivering humanitarian assistance and planning for a post-Assad Syria. Now, I'm going to leave this link. Um, wow, I thought Syria was a sovereign country. We just invade sovereign countries. We, well, we always have, but, I mean, think about this. Our taxpayers' dollars, this... Look at all the humanitarian aids. Let's let's do this. They're going to sanction some of the people, but um, the rebels won't be sanctioned. They'll be fed well while we have starving Americans, losing jobs here, and our taxpayer money is going to fund this. So you need to make a phone call because this man, if he's supporting terrorists, he is a terrorist. Now, let me tell you a little bit. I'm going to go to another page and show you why it may have been him picked to do this because he's a serious criminal. Okay, here. This was February 2013. And uh, if I can get my eyes right, Menendez case highlights need for Medicare reform. Now I'm going to tell you briefly what this guy did. He, t he took um, his doctor, I'll leave this link, he took his doctor who is wanted for Medi Medicaid fraud uh, and they went to uh, the Dominican Republic in a private plane to um, allegedly visit prostitutes. Now he's he's done some he's he's ran by lobbyists and he's done some shady works before. Now they they say they're doing an ethics investigation, which obviously they're not going to do that now since he's putting up this uh, Syrian act. But he's been in trouble before and got out of it, and nobody really knows how. So, um, this guy is just paid for by lobbyists, period. And it seemed like, it seems like to me it's a Medicare's pharmaceutical lobbyist that, that has control of him. And, and he, like I said, has been in trouble before and got out of it with nothing done to him. And, and here he goes again. And he, since he has proposed this Stabilization Act, of 2013 where we invade a sovereign country and arm the rebels because he says I called and this is what they said well there's a civil war going on there well they're a sovereign country and we I think we instigated the civil war didn't we didn't we instigate one in Libya um, so uh, what we do is we arm the rebels and we go provoke and do dirty deeds and it's all on us our taxpayer dollars do this and, and we're not the ones saying to do this. Uh, we know who the puppet masters are. I don't even have to speak that despicable name. So um, I, I just wanted to let you guys know this. I'm going to put 4409's uh, link in here also. You should visit his page and watch what he did. He called 
But um, I'm going to leave the phone number, too. I think everybody should call Bob and, and, and call him what he is. If he's arming terrorists, then he is a terrorist. And um, peace. Everyone have a good day. Um, and no fear. And really spread love and pray for those that this is going to hurt. Because if there's any sanctions put here, the people are going to starve. And that's the sad thing.